Kronos ZK AVM just opened up its bridge to the Hyperchain mainnet. But how does it work and what are the rewards? Well guys, I would say let's strap in and let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron, and as mentioned in the intro, the bridge to the Kronos Hyperchain has just launched. And you can find it right now over here and they call it the Kronos ZK EVM Passage, so the Zero Knowledge Chain. Anyways, over here you can start to deposit your Crow or your LCRO, so Liquid Crow, towards, well, ZK Crow, so Zero Knowledge Crow, that will be the gas coin for the Kronos ZK AVM chain. Anyways, before we're gonna deposit some Crow on the Hyperchain, I do want to mention that I made a complete video talking about, well, what is ZK EVM. But in this video, I do want to focus on, okay, so right now you can deposit, but what kind of rewards are there related to this bridge over here? So guys, check out the video if you haven't done so, but let's go more into this bridge. On the website, they ask a very good question over here. So the Kronos ZK AVM passage, but how does it work? And well, there you can find a complete block letter related to this passage over here. But I wanna show you a few important details right now, because what you need to know is that right now there will be this campaign called the ZK AVM passage. And that will start from July 4th, so right now today, to the ZK EVM mainnet launch. So if you decide to actually deposit Crow, that Crow will not be able to get unlocked until we have the ZK AVM mainnet launch. So think very carefully about that aspect. So when will the ZK EVM mainnet launch be? Well, there is no set date, but they expect it to take place in Q3 of 2024. So quite a long period still until you will have it all unlocked again. Then of course you will get the question, why should I lock up my crow for potentially a few months? And luckily the answer to that is over here in the blog. So by depositing your crow early, you will get ZK crow. So you'll make a swap from crow to ZK crow that will be the made of gas token on the hyper chain of Kronos ZK AVM. Moreover though, you will also accumulate early adopter points in the Kronos ZK AVM Pioneer program and more about that Pioneer program in a minute. But finally, you can start earning staking yield on your Crow. And the earlier you bridge, the more ZK Crow you could be getting for your Crow. And you need to know guys, on the ZK EVM chain, you will have yield bearing assets. So on the Kronos POS chain, you can really stake your Crow and get up to like a seven to 8% yield or APR. And that same APR you can get by just having ZK Crow on the chain. All in all, these are quite some decent incentives, but what about the Pioneer program? The Pioneer program was introduced not that long ago by the Kronos Labs team. And basically you can get points for that by sharing posts on social media, using the Kronos testnet over here, and also interacting with the mainnet dApps. So that's what we're going to do with the bridge in a minute. It is pretty cool though, we can learn more in the block over here, but what they mention over there, which is the most important of course, is that if you participate with the Pioneer program, then you will start to accumulate more points and you can claim these points to get extra yield in participating dApps. So basically you will be able to get extra ZK Crow or other dApp tokens. Before we move on, I do want to share a final few takeaways from the Pioneer program over here. And I think the most important is early support for you guys over here. They say that they will reward early adopters of ZK EVM by testing or of course participating with the passage that we just showed you guys. And it is very important that early support is recognized and rewarded accordingly. The big question of course is what is rewarded accordingly? And of course, we never really know that with these airdrop programs like right now with the Pioneer program. But all I know is that Crypto.com and Kronos have quite deep pockets. And I do think they really want to reward the people that they get in early. So I would definitely guys recommend to check out this Pioneer program. Also, what I find kind of cool is their transparency. So they will have eligible tasks on a dedicated web page. where, for example, you can see, hey, I completed this passage quest or passage tasks, and then you will get a certain amount of points. So this will be launched pretty soon, I hope. Overall, I think guys, the Pioneer program is quite cool. And I hope you guys will check it out. I will leave a link in the description down below. And while you're there guys, please also like the video and subscribe for more Kronos ZK AVM or Crypto.com content. 
But let's go back to the passage. The passage website also shows you how much crow already has been deposited. And right now, already more than 1.5 million crow. And this will only increase, I will tell you. But of course, they do ask a good question, why should I deposit? And that will send you to the FAQ, where they do show you a few good answers, I think. So first and foremost, of course, the Pioneer program, which we already talked about, you will get some points. But also the DeFi ecosystem. Receive ZK Crow ready to use on the Kronos ZK EVM DeFi ecosystem. And that one is actually quite important because they do mention over here that on launch of the Kronos ZK EVM mainnet, the hub will not support bridging from Kronos EVM to Kronos ZK EVM. So guys, this will be the easiest and fastest way to get yourself some ZK Crow to use on the Kronos ZK EVM mainnet. And it might sound a bit strange why not just have a bridge from Kronos EVM to ZK EVM, but it has everything to do with how hyperchange works and how they have these hyper bridges as well. So this is just also, I think, a more of a technical thing because later on they will add support for a bridge. But if you want to be there on day one, you have to really use this bridge. So all in all, should you deposit to the passage? Well, my two cents, yes. Right now, I think the Pioneer program shows a lot of potential with great rewards. And also you will have some yield bearing crow on the chain. So it doesn't really matter if you're staking right now on the POS chain, in the app, or on the ZK EVM chain. And I think over there with the rewards and also potential, well, beautiful depths over there on the EVM chain, I don't want to miss that. So I will actually deposit some crow and show you also how that works. So let's go back one more time to that passage. Okay, I'm on the passage right now and I do want to deposit 100,000 kronos, around $8,000 right now. But of course, I think in the future, this will be a lot more. I don't want to buy more crow. I think this is fine for now. And that will get me in return about, again, 100,000 ZK crow, but a little bit less because of course, this will be a yield bearing asset. So guys, this ZK crow will be worth more than just one crow because it is also staking in the same time. Okay, then let's just deposit. And we do have to pay a small gas fee, but honestly, it is not too bad. As you see, a little DeFi wallet pop up and that we have to confirm. And then we should be good. I think that is everything. It's always a bit scary, guys. By no means this is any financial advice, but as you see, the transaction is successful. And also this amount should go up by about 100,000 crow. So I'm really stoked to be part of this, to be a pioneer really, an early adopter, and I hope we get a lot of points and we all will get rewarded well, but of course we will wait and see. And yes, for anyone wondering, after a quick refresh, 100,000 crow has been added to this counter over here. And it also popped up on the deposit history over here. And I showed you on Kronos EVM, I deposit 100K and it has become 100k ZK Crow on the ZK EVM chain. In my opinion, if you have some Crow doing absolutely nothing, it is fine to put it on this passage over here because, well, you might earn some nice bucks with it. Anyways, guys, that's it. If you have some questions about ZK EVM, about the passage, let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for this video. Like this video, of course, and subscribe for more. But that's me, I'm the Coin Baron, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.